Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to illustrate polynomial functions. These are the following objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to identify polynomial functions and illustrate polynomial functions. So let's have first an activity. Try to answer each question within 5 seconds. So the title of the activity is, which is which? So this is the instruction. That or mean whether each of the following is a polynomial expression or not. The first expression is 14x. So is it a polynomial expression or not? So the correct answer is polynomial. So the next expression is 5x to the third power minus 4 square root of 2x plus x. Is it a polynomial expression or not? The correct answer is it is not a polynomial. So how about the expression negative 2014x? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is polynomial. Next, how about x to the 3 fourth power plus 3x to the 1 fourth power plus 7? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is, it is not a polynomial. Next one is 1 over 2x cubed plus 2 over 3x to the 4th power minus 3 over 4x to the 5th power. Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is, it is not a polynomial. How about the expression x cubed minus 2x plus 1? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is it is a polynomial. So next one, how about the polynomial expression x? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is it is a polynomial. Next, how about the expression negative 4x to the negative 100 power plus 4x to the 100 power? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is it is not a polynomial. Next one, how about the expression 1 minus 16x squared? Is it a polynomial or not? So the correct answer is it is a polynomial expression. So let's analyze the activity. So this expression are all not polynomial. So why they are not polynomials? So the first example is not a polynomial because the denominator has a variable. So we have 2x cubed, 3x to the 4th power, 4x to the 5th power as the denominator, and it has a variable. And then the second one, it has a negative exponent. So we have negative 100 power as the exponent. And then the third one, it has a fractional exponent. So we have raised to 3 fourths power and raised to 1 fourth power as the exponent. And then the last example, the variable is inside a radical sign. So we have square root of 2x plus x. So the variable here is inside the radical sign. So in grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9, you have learned that the function is linear if it has a degree of 1. And it is quadratic if it has a degree of 2. You also learned that the degree is the highest or the largest exponent of a variable in the function. So these functions 
linear, quadratic, cubic, and other functions of a higher degree belong to a class of functions called the polynomial function. Now, what is a polynomial function? So when we say polynomial function, it is an algebraic expression consisting of one or more sum terms. Each term consisting of a constant multiplier and one or more variables raised to integral powers. For example, x squared minus 5x plus 6 and 2p to the third power times q plus y are all examples of polynomials. So the other term for polynomials is multinomial. So polynomial functions can also be defined as an expression of two or more terms. So specifically, we define polynomials as p of x is equal to a sub n times x raised to the n power plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 power plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 power plus so on and so forth plus a sub 1 times x raised to the first power plus a sub 0 wherein a sub n is the leading coefficient a sub n times x raised to the n power is the leading term and a sub 0 is called the constant term of the polynomial function so using the example f of x equals 5x to the third power minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 8, let us identify the following parts of the polynomial function. So let's identify the leading term. So the leading term of the polynomial function is the term with the highest exponent. So the term with the highest exponent is 5x to the third power. The next one, let's identify now the leading coefficient. So the leading coefficient is the number besides the variable of the leading term. So in this case, if the leading term is 5x to the third power and the variable is x, so the number besides x is equal to 5. So therefore, the leading coefficient is equal to 5. And then the next one, let's identify the degree of a polynomial. So the degree of polynomial is the degree of the leading term. Therefore, the degree of the leading term is equal to 3. So let's now identify the constant term. So when you say constant term, it is the term without a variable. As we can see on our example, the term without a variable is negative 8. So therefore, the constant term is equal to negative 8. So let's have our next example. Use the given polynomial to get the standard form of the equation, leading term, the leading coefficient, the degree of polynomial, and the constant term. So the polynomial function is y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x to the 4th power plus 5. So let's get first the standard form of the equation. Since the equation is not yet written in standard form, so we have to get the standard equation of the polynomial function. So to get the standard equation, we must arrange the terms in descending order. So from the highest exponent up to the lowest exponent. So we have y is equal to negative 3x to the fourth power plus 4x squared plus 5. So that will be the standard equation. And the next, let's have the leading term. So the leading term is the term with the highest degree of polynomial or the degree of polynomial. So we have negative 3x to the fourth power as our leading term. And then after that, the leading coefficient is the number besides the variable of our leading term. So the number besides the variable of the leading term is negative 3. Therefore, the leading coefficient is negative 3. And then after that, the degree of a polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. So the exponent of the leading term is to the fourth power, therefore the degree is 4. And then the constant term is the term without a variable. So the term without a variable is 5. So therefore the constant term is equal to 5. So let's have our last example. Use the given polynomial to get the standard form of the equation the leading term, 
in the leading coefficient, the degree of polynomial, and the constant term. So we have the polynomial function y is equal to x times a quantity of 2x plus 2. So the first step is to get the standard form of the equation. So since the polynomial function is written in factored form, so we need to get the standard form. And to get the standard form of the equation, so we will just multiply the equation. So we have y is equal to x times 2x is 2x squared, and then x times 2 is equal to 2x. Therefore, the standard equation is y is equal to 2x squared plus 2x. And then we will identify the leading term. The leading term is the term with the highest exponent. So the highest exponent is to the second power, and the term with the highest exponent is 2x squared. Therefore, the leading term will be equal to 2x squared. And then after that, the leading coefficient is the number besides the variable of the leading term. So the number besides the variable of the leading term is 2. So therefore, the leading coefficient is equal to 2. And then after that, to get the degree of polynomial, so we will just look at the highest exponent. So the highest exponent is to the second power. Therefore, the degree of polynomial is equal to 2. And then the constant term is the term without a variable. So since in the equation there is no term without a variable, therefore the constant term is equal to 0. 